In the news that noon, the federal government establishes family courts in 16 states. Aquaibum State's PDP holds governorship primaries today. The resident of Yoda cry exorbitant electricity billing in Aquaibum State. On the forest in North Korea, reportedly fires missiles as after Joe Biden's departure from Asia. In sport, UK government approves bodies 4.25 billion pounds Chelsea takeover. Details coming up shortly. Good afternoon, welcome to the news on Planet Radio 101.1 FM. You, I am Bright James. First, in the news this afternoon, the reports that ahead of the International Children's Day celebration 2022, the Minister of Women Affairs, Pauline Tallinn, has said that the federal government has established family courts in 16 states to ensure child friendly justice for children, either as victims or as offenders of violence. Talent Press briefing noted that the establishment of family courts resulted from the effective advocacy and sensitization for effective implementation of the child rights law across the country. According to her, the theme for this year is strengthening supportive systems for the protection of the Nigerian child. Wake up call. However, she stressed that despite efforts by the government and all the stakeholders' children were still vulnerable and victims of abduction, ritual killings, rape, child marriage, domestic abuse, and others. Talent added that to ensure the safety and protection of children, she also reconstituted the technical working group on ending violence against children and the management in Nigeria. In the meantime, the federal government has said it would pay about 34 billion naira minimum wage consequential adjustments to education sector workers with effect from 2019. The Minister of Labor and Employment, Senator Chris Ngigi, Disclosed this while responding to questions from labor correspondents in Abuja on the prolonged academic staff union of universities ASU strike. The beneficiaries include the members of the striking ASU and their counterparts in the polytechnics and colleges of education. Recall that the union had embarked on strike over the non implementation of various agreements signed by the federal government. The union leadership had said it did not call up the industrial action until its demands were met, however. Giga said the universities would get 23.5 billion naira and also started how much others would get. Regarding the ASU strike, the minister said the committee set up during the last Travertite Plus meeting of the government and the university based unions were given a fortnight's return in their report, which they were still working on. He appealed to ASU and all the unions to suspend their strikes so that academic activities could resume in public universities across the country adding that the reports of the committees were being expected this weekend. On electoral matters, there was alleged confusion at the National Secretary of the All Progressives Congress with the National Working Committee and WC released yet another revised timetable and schedule of activities for the governorship, State House of Assembly, Senate and the House of Representatives primary elections. The new schedule, which comes the day after the party adjusted the old timetable, had a slight alteration in the dates. Unlike in the previous schedule of activities, the primary for the 340 senator aspirants that was slated for Friday, May 27th, will now hold on Saturday, May 28th. On the other hand, the primary for the House of Representatives aspirants, earlier scheduled for Saturday, May 28th, has been shifted back to Friday, May 27th. According, accordingly, the date for primaries of the 145 governorship and state handle assembly aspirants remains the same tomorrow, May 26. Reports say while apologizing for the last minute adjustments, the National Public Secretary of the Party, Felix Marker, disclosed that the special convention for the presidential primary will be held as scheduled on Sunday, 29th to Monday, 30th, May 2022. In a related development, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, is currently conducting and governorship primaries in Aquaibum State City. Recall that a party had last Saturday, had last Sunday rather than Monday, conducted the State House of Assembly, House of Representatives, and senatorial primaries to elect flag bearers for the party in next year's general elections. The state chairman of the party, Nia Kanakman, who spoke with the reporters while accompanying the electoral committee for Aquaibum PDP Central District primaries to monitor the exercise, expressed confidence that the party in Aquaibum State is well positioned to give Nigeria 
are quite white and another batch of cerebral leaders in the mold of the ones produced at various levels in the state since 1999 through the platform of the PDP. Akwan, who lauded the conduct of members of the party since the commencement of the primary elections, observed that visionary leaders in Akwaibom public service have always been produced by the party and that public opinion suggests that the generality of Akwaibomites are anticipating a succeeding set of great leaders from PDP. On his past chairman of the party's electoral committee for Akwaibom State Ter Senatorial District primaries, Barista Edwards Ayo Udegbosan, who monitor the exercise in the various central districts appeal to members of the party to stay united for the greater progress of the party, adding that there is enough room for all aspirants to be protected, including that of those who are successful at the primaries. Back here. Some residents of Yo, the Aquabum State Capital, have voiced out their worries over the outrageous electricity billing system in the state. Speaking with Planet News, some residents of the affected areas explain how difficult it is to pay such a high amount of money monthly, appealing that a proper system should be established by the government to help tackle the situation. With us now on the foreign scene, South Korea's military has announced that North Korea has fired three ballistic missiles early today. Authorities in Seoul said that the missiles were fired in a space of less than an hour from the Sunan area in Pyongyang. It comes just a day after U.S. President Joe Biden left the region following a trip that saw him vow to bolster measures to deter North Korea. North Korea has been test firing a flurry of ballistic missiles since the beginning of this year. Japan confirmed that at least two launches happened today, but acknowledged there may have been more. Japan's Defense Minister Nobuo Kishi said that the first missile flew about 300 kilo miles with a maximum altitude of around 550 km miles, while the second, reaching as high as 50 km miles, traveled around 750 km miles. In sports, the UK government has said today that it had given the green light to George Bolly's proposed takeover of Chelsea Football Club from the sanctioned Russian oligarch Roman Bramovich. Secretary of State for Digital Culture, Media and Sports Nadine Doris said she had issued a license by meeting the deal shortly after it won approval from the Premier League. A consortium led by Bolly, a co-owner of baseball's Los Angeles Dodgers, had already agreed a record £4.25 billion pounds deal to buy the Premier League club from Roman Abramovich on May 7th. The Premier League said its approval hinged on the government's sale license and the satisfactory completion of the final stages of the transaction. Now, on the entertainment scene, Nigerian singer, songwriter and rapper, Akam Bibret, known by his stage name Czech, is the first to openly express his displeasure with the Hedy's nomination for the 2022 awards after being overlooked in the hip hop category. Reports say Czech is one of the few Nigerian rappers whose songs are full of melody, who is also one of the few rappers in 2020 to record a hit song with hip hop record. Despite the fact that the song Zoom was released outside of the calendar year for the 15 Hedy's, Czech believes his debut album Bravo should have earned him a nomination for this year's Hedys. According to him, this is why hip hop has remained stagnant here, but he pledged to become and still be dropping hits, even if it is not get the flowers. It's been the news on Planet Radio 101.1 FM. But before we go, a recap of the major stories. And the news we told you ahead of the International Children's Day celebration 2022. The Minister of Women Affairs, Pauline Tallinn, has said that the federal government has established family courts in 16 states to ensure child-friendly justice for children, either as victims or as offenders of violence. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, is currently conducting governorship primaries in Aquabum states today. We also told you that some residents of you, the Aquabum state capital, have voiced their worries over the outrageous electricity billing system in the state. On the foreign scene, we told you that South Korea military has announced that North Korea has fired three ballistic missiles early today. While in sports, we reported that the UK government has said today that it has given the green light to Todd Bolly's proposed taker of Chelsea Football Club from the sanctioned Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich for comments and coverage of news of the event. Kalanin Roman 81 
that is 0812-770-2940. Visit our website on Planet 101FM, that's Angie. Follow us on Twitter at Planet underscore 101FM. You can also like our verified Facebook page at Planet 101FM. Or your videos was edited by Florence, Essien and Jane Owa. As we end the news, always remember, happiness is when what you think, what you say and what you do are in harmony. So lead from the heart, not the head. I am bright. James, good afternoon and thank you for listening. <laughs>